the first fire we've lit in the thing and it's going away just as a test it's now sitting on the stand that Jamie's made today and we've just got this temporary uh, thing here just to fill it with water but we can only get it full to about here but you know the top of this is already very hot whereas the bottom around here is still quite cold where the majority of the water is but when we uh, put a hole in here which will, is where the water, hot water will come out and um, you know it'll work very 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 efficiently I'm sure very pleased with it uh, Jamie's engineering a bit of a door now for it so that we can put a door on it and uh, we'll get even more efficiency okay we've lit the fire and it's all going well we've come up with this door what a great idea an old gas bottle cut in half it's got Jamie's cut a vent in it can you see that vent down here at the bottom I think we'll have to make it a bit larger but there's a vent at the bottom also the old gas hole so that's there as well so that's working quite well but have a look at the temperatures we're getting I mean this we've, we've just done this temporary fill idea here but it's obviously not filling up right with water so let's do some temperatures already we're just that the, the metal here is at 56 degrees C okay uh, down on the side where there's water in there it's already at 32 degrees C. Can you see? I don't know if you can see that on the camera or not. 32 degrees C. So that's getting quite warm. You know, you can have a warm bath in that. Uh, right down the bottom, it's at 26 degrees C. Now, interesting, let's have a look at the chimney. Um, right at the base of the chimney here, 233 degrees C. Can you see that temperature there? I'll change it to Fahrenheit for the Americans. 452 Fahrenheit. That is hot. Further up the chimney, 352 degrees Fahrenheit that is hot so we're generating a lot of heat so our plan to put another water sleeve around here which we'll do and we'll make it work like a rocket stove so that the, the, the gases have to come back down and go up to get out so we'll get double heating from the inside of this um, this jacket we're going to put on and also on the outside of the jacket we'll collect all the heat so that's working really well <laughs> at the top right here in, in Fahrenheit 222 degrees we'll change to Celsius 105 that's over boiling point for water so I'm really pleased with the way this is working and we have not we have not got a very big fire in there either and that's going to be the real saving we're going to have with this is we're going to save a lot of wood and be a better for the environment see already we've got a fairly clean fire there's a lot of heat coming out of there I can tell you but not much smoke but we need to have it so there's no smoke and then we will have a really clean fire you can probably see in the background here we've got miles of wood I've got 10 acres of wood so it's not a question of not having enough wood we just don't want to waste it we also don't want to spend the time and the labor that's required to go and cut the wood you know cut mountains on it last year Jamie we knocked over what three great big dead trees they were like this weren't they Aye. and we burnt a lot and it's you know based on this fire we'd only burn half of one of those trees this coming year what do you reckon? Yeah, we should be able to um, cut down our timber usage yeah. quite a lot, eh? Yeah, that's for sure. And the fire's going to be a lot more efficient, so I'm really pleased with our first little fire we've lit to see how it goes. It's very, very good. We may have to enlarge that a little bit, do you think, Jamie? Maybe not. That, that vent I maybe? think so, but then we'll put a, um, a slide on there so that we can close it off if need be. And how about this? It's already, um, what, a, what an invention, a door that already has a lid, has a handle. <laughs> so, yeah. So we can adjust it, take it out, put more wood on, all that kind of thing. So very, very pleased. The next test, of course, will be uh, when we put the jacket on and, and assemble the proper chimney on it so that we get good draw and we can collect all this heat. Once again, there we are in centigrade, uh, in Fahrenheit, 357 degrees that chimney's at. So a lot of heat there to be gathered up and used and not wasted. The latest little addition to this um, thing is this gas bottle top and now Jamie has cut two holes in it for ventilation and the good part is Jamie just demonstrate we can slide it in and out to adjust the amount of airflow that we want and and Bob's your uncle look at that how easy is that and good use of secondhand materials old gas bottles that's an old gas bottle hot, old hot water sink uh, old hot water cylinder I should say an old uh, 50, 44 gallon drum, old steel out of the back paddock that we've saved out of the back paddock and um, yeah, there you go.
what a great invention.